Hello everybody, today we're talking about the 2016 Odyssey and the charging system issues. Do you have that red battery light? Let's figure out what's really wrong. Hello everybody, I'm Robert Lewis and this is my 2016 Honda Odyssey. We, we love this van around here. Courtney especially loves this van. We've got about 160,000 miles on it right now. So here's the backstory. Last summer, July 2024, I recorded a video about how to change the alternator. We had an original alternator in here and it died. So I recorded that video. It has actually been one of my most popular videos. So thank you everybody for watching that video. Fast forward, uh, well, okay. So I put that alternator in. It was a remanufactured alternator from O'Reilly's. The very next day I took the alternator back out and put another one in because it was dead on arrival. Um, sometimes that just happens. You get a bad one out of the box. That next one was, uh, it worked just fine for a couple of months. Yeah, it took about maybe nine months. And uh, so it was early this winter, 2025, and that alternator was dying again. And so here's what I did with the alternator that time. I went back to O'Reilly's and I said, guys, this is not working for me. They said uh, that they do actually have some complaints on those remanufactured alternators. And I don't know why I got that initially, but uh, they said that you could buy a new alternator, which was by the same manufacturer. It was about $50 more. I don't really know why I didn't do that the first time around. I guess I was trying to save 50 bucks and didn't know that those reman uh, units were a problem, but they are, so steer clear of those at least for right now. If you're in 2025 and considering reman, find another one, get a new one. It's not that much more expensive. And here's another side note. While I was there talking to them, I, I said, you know, I've had this problem with this alternator. Maybe I should go across the street to the Honda dealer and see if they have one, see how much it is. You know what the lady told me at the desk at O'Reilly's? She said, she said, you know what? Honda actually comes over here and gets their alternators from us. They're selling you the same one over there and they're marking it up. I called Honda, they're selling their alternators for $750. Uh, I didn't go and look at it and confirm it's the same one, but uh, I just thought, man, that is crazy if that's really what's happening. So let's uh, open the hood here and take a look at what's going on. There's our beautiful engine. All right, let's talk about this real quick. So uh, the charging system uh, has a couple of components. Uh, the, the starter, the battery, the alternator. If you have that red battery light on the dash, it is, it, it's most likely gonna be one of two things. It'll either tell you the battery has a problem or the alternator has a problem. The first thing I wanna rule out is the battery because that's, well, they're both easy, but I'll show you. Let's talk real quick about how all this works. So your battery stores electricity that is used to run the starter to start your car. It's also used to run batteries, the computer, all the things that are going on inside your car. So as, as you are driving, you're consuming electricity that's coming from the battery. Your alternator is running at the same time, it runs off the belt and it is charging that battery back up. So you're, you draw electricity out to start and run, you add, add it back in to uh, with the alternator so if your alternator is not functioning it could also look like your battery is dying so you may need to charge your battery before you can really test it fully uh, to, to do this test we are going to use a multimeter and we need to get access to the battery so you gotta pop this thing out of the way This is a multimeter. This is the Innova 3320. I'm gonna put a link in the description. If you wanna get one of these for yourself, you can. I have an Amazon Affiliates account. I will get a small commission for this. It won't cost you anything extra, but you click this over to DC volts. Red on red, black on black. And mine says a little over 12.5. 12.6 is considered a full, fully charged battery. There is a little chart in case the rest of you didn't know this, but uh, so this is a 12 volt battery system and uh, you can look at a little chart. Uh, I'll put one on the screen right now. This chart tells you 
When a battery is 12.1 volts, it is 50% charged. When it is 11.7 volts, it's 25% charged. And 10 volts, it's considered dead. So now that we know that this battery is good, we're gonna test the alternator. And to do that, you have to turn the car on. Oh, I should have mentioned earlier, when you're testing the battery, the car does need to be off. So I'm gonna turn the car on, and then we're gonna do this test again. Uh, red on red, black on black, and look at the, uh, how, how, we're gonna look at how many volts the, gener the alternator is generating. Well, for my car, that was great. The multimeter was reading between 13.9 and 14.1 volts. That's perfect. You want to see a range of 13.5 to 14.5. Anything within that range is good. That tells you that your alternator is working as it should be. If yours is not within that range, your alternator is probably dead, not working correctly. So you can also go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone or any other place like this. They have tools there that the, the staff behind the desk can uh, bring out and they'll do it for you. They'll test your battery and your alternator and your starter and they'll tell you what's working and what's not. If you have determined that your alternator is not working, I have a video for that. Check out the link below, or you know what? I'll, I'll figure out how to put a little bubble up here on the side of the screen. I've never done that before, but I'll do it for you. Click that and you can uh, follow those instructions and see how I changed my alternator. You can do it too. I believe in you. If this video was helpful for you today, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.